So at this point, now I want to fight. Now I want to fight. Now I want to throw hands. What are you talking about? She's like this. She's like this. I'm just standing there like. Are you done? babies it's your girl shot baby back at it again with another video y'all feel what i'm saying as y'all see my title i'm gonna be doing a story time and this is like this story time i need y'all to really like talk back to me if y'all know what i'm saying like tell to like like let me know if i was in the wrong for anything i did because this story time is crazy. If y'all ask me why I'm wearing the same shirt, it's because the last video that I filmed, I filming in in the same day, so it's like you know, had to knock two videos out in a day. You feel me? That's how we get grinding, you know. But without further ado, we're just gonna get right into the video. So this is how everything started off, right? I had this friend. I had this friend. Had. Um. Let me see, what are we gonna call her? Because I'm not gonna put her name on here. So we gonna call her, we gonna call her Lime, cause she's sour. So now I was friends with this Lime, right? Mind you, I'm a junior, I'm in 11th grade and she's a sophomore, she's in 7th grade. So we was friends or whatever and we was like well yeah i would say that we were friends because we started when did we meet we met in like october and then after that we just kind of been communicating here and there so y'all know like when y'all meet um somebody new and you know you trying to find like ways to trust them or something because you're like oh new friends you know you got to trust your friends so I tell this girl a little bit about my life, like a little bit about what was going on at that point in time. So simple friendship, you know, maybe like when did this start? I think this started during winter break in December, like around after Christmas, after Christmas. I think it was a week after Christmas, like right before New Year's. So right before New Year's now, um, I have one of her friends on Snap and Damn, what are we gonna name her? We gonna name her Guava. I don't know why. We just gonna name her Guava. So, I have Guava on Snap. So, she texts me. She like, hey, are you talking to Lime's boyfriend? I was like, who's her boyfriend? I'm not gonna put his name out there either. We're gonna call her boyfriend Eggplant. I said, who's her boyfriend? She said, eggplant. So I was like, I don't talk to her boyfriend. And then she was like, Guava was like, oh, well, Lime is going around telling everybody that you're talking to her boyfriend when he doesn't want you. And she's saying that you ran through to everybody. So I'm like, what? But... I texted her okay, right? So I text Lime now and I'm telling her like what is what is this I'm hearing? You saying that I'm talking to your boyfriend and how I'm ran through and everything, like what's that about? She was like, Oh yeah, because eggplant had told me that you was trying to talk to him and he didn't want you, so he was telling you to F off and stuff like that. And I was like when did this happen? Like, mind you, right? Let me give y'all a little backstory about um, Lime's boyfriend. So, me and Eggplant, right? Me and Eggplant. Um, we used to be friends in ninth grade. So, we friends, getting to know each other, whatever. So, apparently, he ends up liking me. 
and I didn't like him in that way. I only seen him as a friend. But he still kept on trying to bring me to his crib and ask me to suck his dick and all of that other stuff. And I used to be on that type of time and like, no, like, what is your problem? I'm not going to your crib and I'm definitely not sucking your team. So anyway, past that, um, he stopped talking to me because I guess he got offended or whatever. So he stopped talking to me and we haven't talked since ninth grade. And then he hits me up somewhere in December and slid up on one of the snaps that I posted on my um of myself. Um, I think he put a heart emoji, if I'm not mistaken. He put a um a heart emoji, and I sent it back because I don't know what to say to that. Like, if you send me a heart emoji, like I don't know what to say to that. Like, I just sent it back. So he goes on and on and on talking about oh I miss you and I wish we were still friends and stuff like that. And I'm like oh okay that's cute oh okay that's good like like i'm giving those dry responses like you could tell that i wasn't interested in what he was saying like i didn't care about what he was saying so he was like can i come back i'm like no like are you dumb no i didn't want you before so i'm not gonna want you now so anyway now that's the whole backstory right lime is going around telling people that i talked to eggplant when Eggplant had hit me up in December while they was dating, talking about, can I come back? Isn't that crazy? Like, doesn't that sound stupid? So, anyway, past that, right? I didn't really care about her talking shit about me. Because at the end of the day, I'm like, bro, she's a sophomore. I don't care. She's a sophomore. Why Why am I Why am I trying to be for the sophomore? What, what do I look like? So, she keeps on talking shit. She keeps on posting subs um, um, about me on Snap. Mind y'all, right? After I pressed her about that whole eggplant situation, how she's saying that I'm talking to eggplant and stuff like that, she blocked me on Snap, right? So that was already done. That was already done. After she blocked me, I could see that, oh, okay, whatever. So now the way how I know that she's, sending subs i mean not sending subs posting subs about me on snap is all through guava she keeps on sending me lime snap keeps on telling me everything lime be saying and i'm like why you keep on telling me this like aren't you her friend like i didn't say that to her but i'm thinking that in my head like aren't you her friend but in no way shape or form i still don't respect guava like i could respect people that tells me things that people say about me but if you're picking both sides i'm not gonna be on your side you know what i'm saying so it's like she's friends with her she's encouraging her to post these things because if you're gonna come and tell me that she's saying this that and the third then why are you allowing her to post it why are you not saying a girl that's petty or that's weird why are you posting stuff like that no she's encouraging it so i'm not gonna respect you either way so I had to tell her, like, stop sending me her snaps because you're playing both sides and it, it doesn't make any sense. So after that, she stopped sending me her snaps or whatever. But of course, Lime is still talking shit or whatever. So there was one time, right? One time when I came back to school, when was it? Um, Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? It was, yes, Tuesday, January 4th. Came back to school, right? And I was going to the bathroom. I seen her in the hallway walking in front of me. And I guess as soon as she heard my voice, she started running, zooming down the hallway, went right into her class. Because she knew that I was coming to press her, right? Even though I wasn't really going to do anything. I wasn't really going to do anything. Because then again, in my head, I'm still like, I can't be beefing with a sophomore. That's just not my body. I'm not going to stoop myself down to your level. Mind you, right? She's 16 and you're in 10th grade. It can't be worse than that. <laughs> you're 16 turning 17 in 10th grade. It can't be worse than that. I'm like, no, I'm not going to stoop myself down to your level. I wasn't even going to do nothing to Shuri. She ran away, bro. That's when I got the image in my head. Okay, this girl's scared. 
all right but she's still talking shit right that doesn't even make no sense like how are you scared of me scared to approach me scared to talk to me block me on snap at that still talking shit on snap at that but you running away from me make that make sense in y'all head like really make it make sense so past that whole situation right i left that girl alone left that girl alone that same day she's still um on snap talking shit still and that's only because other people is coming to me telling me oh are you beefing with this person i'm like now everybody's in the business because she want to tell people that i'm ran through or whatever like she knows something I don't really care for the people that came up to me talking about, oh, you beefing with her, beefing with her, da, 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 da. I don't really give a fuck because at the end of the day, I'm not the one beefing with her. She's choosing to beef with me because she's bringing herself into this mess, causing problems that she don't want with me. So I'm not even going to pay her no attention. None of that. So fast forward now to when did this happen? I'm trying to get the stories in my head, right? Fast forward to sometime last week. Sometime last week. I don't even remember what day it was, but it was sometime last week. I went to the bathroom. No, I didn't go to the bathroom. I don't want to lie. I didn't go to the bathroom. I had went to go get something from one of my teachers. And the class was empty, right? And I left my stuff in that class. So I went to go get something for the teacher in another, um, another room. So I come back now, right? Okay, I get my stuff. I go on with the rest of my day. So then that's when another sophomore, right? I don't know if it's um Lime's friend or not, but he had came up to me talking about, oh, do you know that this person went into the class and started touching your stuff? I was like, huh? He was like, yeah, I seen somebody touching your stuff. Like, do you know them? And then that's when I had to ask, like, who was it? So he tells me the name. I'm like, I don't even know who that is. Because I don't know about y'all, but I don't know everybody in my school. I barely pay attention to the freshmen, barely pay attention to the sophomore, barely pay attention to the seniors. I really only know people in my grade. So I don't, I, I don't know people like in my school like that. So he tells me the name. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know who that is. Like, who is that? So I'm sitting there confused, like, what's going on? So he was like, oh, she was she was just touching your stuff. So I was like, okay. Then that, that's when I gave me the idea. I'm like, I'm going to go check my stuff, right? Come to find out, I'm like, where's my AirPods? Where's my AirPods? I'm searching through my bag, my jacket, everything. Where's my AirPods? No AirPods to be found, right? So I'm like, did this girl take my AirPods? I don't even know who she is and she's taking my stuff. First of all, the first move was that she was touching my shit, which you don't do, especially if I'm not in a room. You touch my shit and then you take my shit. Like, what is wrong with you? So, um, then come to find out later that day, Lime had sent the girl to go take my AirPods from the room. After that, I had no words. Off rip, I just wanted to fight at this point. I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of this. Because the one thing you don't do, you could talk as much shit as you want to, but the one thing you don't do is take something that belongs to me. So at this point, now I want to fight. Now I want to fight. Now I want to throw hands. What are you talking about? Like, I kid you not, y'all. Like, I was so pissed that day. I was like, I went home not even knowing that my AirPods wasn't there. The real, the moment I realized that my AirPods wasn't with me was when I was walking to my house. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, shit. Like, I just instantly got mad. I'm like, where is my AirPods? And then when I found that out, I go and find my iPhone. I, I, I um noticed that my AirPods is in some... I don't some area that I didn't even know about. So, mind you, right? All I did was go on Snap and I posted we on time in tomorrow. That's literally what I said. I said we on time in tomorrow. I'm not with the bush anymore. 
I'm done. That's what I posted on Snap. And I told Guava to send it to Lime so that she knows what's going on. So that she can't say, oh, I'm puffy for touching her from behind and stuff. No. You know about it, so you can't say this, that, and the third. Because I knew after I put my hands on her, she was going to start talking sh more shit. More shit. So I told Guava to send it to Lime and done. Right? So now, Friday, last week, Friday, the same, no, not the same day, the day after I posted that on Snap, right? I'm not seeing Lime nowhere. So then that's when I asked the same boy that told me that the girl had went and touched my stuff and took my AirPods. I was like, where is she? Did she come to school? He was like, no, she didn't come to school. I was like, okay. So I said, all right, now she want to act pussy, right? Now she want to act pussy. Okay, because there's no reason why you didn't come to school. You knew what I posted. You seen what I posted. You want to run away from me in the hallways and shit. And if you don't come to school, show up with my... Yo, like, what? N what? Like, I was weak, y'all. I was so weak. But here's the good part about it. The same person that she went to go... That, yeah, that she sent to go take my AirPods... I seen that girl in the morning. I already knew off rip. I was like, you know what? I want to fight Lime, but her other friend is going to get it too because she was the one that took my shit. Like, all right, I get it. Her friend sent her to go take her stuff, but like, honestly, make it make sense in your head. Really make it make sense in your head. So I said, you know what? She going to get it too. I seen her that day. I put down my stuff. And then she was like, wait, 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 wait. I just wanted to ask if these were yours. Bitch, I know you took them. Don't, don't try to act like you don't know. So she does that, right? Mind you, right? She's like this. She's like this. And I'm like, I'm just standing there like. Are you done? I didn't say that, but I'm like, are you done? And then when she finally uncovers her face, bing, <laughs> what are you talking about? I put that bitch straight in her face and she dropped. And then after that, that's when I took my earpods out of her hand and I kept on walking. I was not playing, bro. Then I come into school. Then that's when I find out um, from that same person, again, that told me that, um, her friend took my AirPods or whatever. He was like, oh, she came into school holding her eye. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's perfect. Now she know not to fuck with me again. Don't fuck with me. I'm not the one. So, her friend got it. Now... Lime needs to get it. Lime needs to get it badly. Talking all of this shit on Snap to other people and stuff like that. And she just, she gotta get it. She gotta get it. All right, y'all. So I want to just pop this video in here just to come on here and basically give y'all like a little update on this girl, right? Last week, Wednesday, I texted her friend. I texted her friend, Guava. I texted Guava and I told Guava to tell Lime to unblock me because y'all know she had me blocked on Snap and everything. So I told her to unblock me if she liked that. So she unblocked me. I texted her, she texted back. I texted her, so I was like, what's up? Like, you wanna take my stuff? And then she go, nobody took your stuff. You seem so pressed and I'm like, so you really gonna do that like I'm stupid? So she said, no, because you really seem pressed though, for real. And then she was also like something about how she said, um, oh yeah, I also been hearing that you've been calling me pussy. So why are you calling me pussy? And I was like, you are pussy. And then she was like, no, I'm not. And then she, I was like, 
So if you're not pussy, send the Addy. So she said, all right, fine. So then she sent it, right? And bro, when I tell you, she thought I wasn't gonna pop up at the crib. So I popped up at the crib, knocked on the door and everything. So I told him like, come outside because this girl was standing at a distance. So I said, come right here, come right here, come outside. So then that's when I was like, you thought I wasn't gonna show up, right? So I grabbed her, started beating her, beating her, dragged her down the stairs and everything. And then her mother came outside she started yelling and carrying on and stuff. So all I did was just kick the girl in her face. And I picked up the stuff that I dropped and I just walked away. I don't know what happened after that. But all I know was that um, that same day that happened, her mother kept on texting me off of Lime Snap saying, look what you did to my daughter face. Now we got to go to the hospital and stuff. Like all of this is because of you. And why would you show up at our house and stuff like that? And then she even sent me a picture of the girl's face. So basically, yeah, like that was really it. Like, but like, really tell me. She was stupid for sending the ad because she really thought I wasn't going to show up. How dumb can you be? But anyway, that was really what I had to add into this video. But this really goes to show your friends is really not your friends at all. Like the person that you feel like you could trust or you starting to gain some trust, that's when it's really not your friend. And it's really crazy to me. Like it's 2022 and people still doing this. Grow up already. Like how long is it really going to take y'all to grow up? I really don't understand bitches like that. Weird bitches like that. That's just downright weird. And then another thing too, how you gonna send your friend to go take my stuff and your friend is afraid of me too? You afraid of me and your friend is afraid of me? You got some pussy ass friends, just like you. And at this point, like for real, for real, if she's watching this video, I don't care what you have to say, what other stuff you gonna start posting on side, I don't care. Because this is what you cause by yourself. So if you want to do this, we could do this. Because this whole time you wanted my attention. You wanted to post subs on Snap. Tell people this, that, and this, that, and rah, rah, rah. You wouldn't stop talking about me. You wouldn't keep the name Shire at your mouth. Then this is what happens. Your friend is getting it. And now you going to get it too. Period. This is technically the end of the story time. Like... I really, I really want to know from y'all. Like, I want y'all to hit me up on anything. Y'all can hit me up on Snap, Instagram, um, Facebook or whatever. And, like, y'all can even, even comment on this video. Like, tell me if what I did was wrong. Anything that I did, anything that I said in this video, so let me know y'all opinion. Because I also want to know if y'all would do the same thing too if y'all was in this situation. So, please, like... I really want y'all to talk back to me and tell me, like, what's up? Like, would you have done that if that was you? Like, let me know. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.